Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So, I have a lot of really awesome artist friends, and here's the thing about artists. They all do things a little bit differently, even when using the same techniques, same materials. Everybody's got a different personality. They pick different colors. They have different styles. And especially if you're on YouTube or Facebook, they'll be even filming it differently. I thought it would be cool to feature some of these awesome artists on my channel so that you guys could get a chance to check them out to see how they do techniques, check out their channels, things like that. So we're starting today with Massey Art Studio. Lee and Jeremy, they're good friends of mine. I sent them some of my paints to try out and they made this awesome video for you guys. Please watch this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this content on my channel and more artists featured. And definitely, definitely check out Massey Art Studio on YouTube and give them a subscribe. Link will be down in the description. I hope you enjoy this. Hello everyone. Hey guys. Mm, welcome to a really interesting episode, not on the Massey Art Studios channel, but on the Mixed Media Girl channel. Yes. And welcome to a really fun pour. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And we're here because Marcy, Mixed Media Girl, asked us to trial out her yeah. fabulous line of paints. Yes. And um, we love getting our hands dirty and trying something new. So this is our episode in dedication of just that. You're going to do a? I'm doing a wrecked ring. And I'm going to do probably like either a straight pour or a fantasy pour. I'm going to see how these okay. colours speak to okay. me when I start layering them. But I'm really excited to use these because they look like really wonderful oh colours. They look beautiful. Mm. So, without further ado, let's get to pouring. We'll see you guys at our table. Yes. Hello there ladles and jelly spoons, it's Lee here. Um, really, really awesome, very exciting episode here where we're going to be testing the Mixed Media Girls pouring paints. And you can see just a small selection of what's on offer here on my canvas. Um, Marcy, Mixed Media Girl, sent us some of her bottles of paint um, which we're super excited to try out because there's some really wonderful colors here like fairy spit is absolutely one of my favorites <laughs> and I haven't even opened it up yet and then one of our wonderful subscribers the wonderful Susan Shepperson also sent us a kit as well so Susan thank you so much we got 10 of these bottles um, thank you so much for being so supportive we love you and so we thought it's about time that we tried these out I've got a 12 by 12 inch canvas right here yeah. and I'm going to straight pour onto this canvas using these paints, mixing them with, with zero pouring medium because the whole point of these paints is they're ready to pour. Mm. And the show pony is going to do something equally exciting with them. So um, I have a paper cup here, which is what I'm going to use to, to straight pour out of. And let me just tell you a few of the colours that we've got here. Fairy Dreams is this wonderful kind of like, what, champagne gold? Yeah. Which is mm -hmm. really stunning. I like this meadow green, which is really awesome. And then we've got fairy spit and merlot, which is like super cool. This merlot is like a beautiful plummy color. Um, and then, gosh, what else have we got? What, primary red? We've got primary yellow. There's um, Caribbean teal, which I know is just going to be stunning. So if you want to see all of these wonderful colors, then please take a look at the mixedmediagirl.com website where you'll be able to grab the different sizes. I know that she's actually got kind of kits of colors um, and you can go over there and choose your paints. Yes. All right, so I've already realized that because these are already pre-mixed, I am going way overboard with my color choices, but you know what, I'm happy about it because I don't have to mix any of these paints. I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do. Um, I'm gonna straight pour this one and I'll tell you these colors as I add them to my cup. So I'm first off gonna start with some Merlot. Oh my God, that's so lovely. It's so smooth. I love it. 
So I'm pouring that one straight down the side of my cup. And I am gonna use some of the lighter colors to separate the layers. So I'm gonna put a little bit of white next to that Merlot. Just a little separation layer. Okay, next to the Merlot, I'm gonna go in with the pink tulip. Not too much of that one, because I know it'll probably take over. Then I'm gonna do some fairy dreams. Love that color. Okay, next, some Caribbean teal. Love that color. Next to some fairy spit. Whoever came up with that name is a genius. I'm gonna put a little bit more white next to that. Okay. Then some Everglade Green. Love it. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the pink next to the green. And then straight in with some Merlot. Love that color. Then let's do some Fairy Dreams. Back with some Caribbean teal. Some more white. These paints are layering really beautifully. They are all totally sitting on top of each other. And then back in with some green. Oops. And I'm gonna finish off with some of this fairy spit. All right, so that is a 16 ounce cup. I've only got a 12 by 12 inch canvas, so I don't think I'm gonna put a base coat down on this one. If I need a flow extender, I will absolutely do it. All right, Jeremy, I'm gonna straight pour this one onto the canvas. Perfect. Oh, let's cook, create a little, a little lip right spout there. Down. A little spout indeed. Now straight pouring is where I'm literally doing that. I'm gonna pour straight from the cup I'm not creating a ring. But I am just moving the cup around. And I'm gonna catch that little drip at the end right there. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, if you would be so kind as to pass me that white. So we've already got some colors that are already mixed up in the studio and I'm gonna use a little bit of white as a flow extender. Now this is a pearl white, so it's gonna be perfect with all those colors. And I won't need too much of this because as you can see, I've got more than enough paint on the canvas. But what this flow extender is gonna do is it's gonna help me just keep the composition that I've just created rather than having these colors all roll over each other. So let's add a little bit of this just to the corners where there's dry canvas. And over here. All right, here on the Massey Art Studios channel, if you ever come and visit us and you come to see us, you will know that this is actually the time. Well, add to, you tell me, Jeremy, what time is it? Tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this composition out and see what we can see.
not gonna waste our time. Wowzers! Holy moly! I gotta say that pink tulip is popping. It's like the brightest, like fuchsiaiest oh, yeah. pink ever. But what I absolutely love is that next to that really deep dark Merlot, yeah. it's very spooky looking. Mm -hmm. It's like almost like a Halloween palette. This is like ectoplasm right here and all those, that green and pink and Merlot. Definitely got me thinking about a Halloween composition for sure. Um, I love this. I'm going to get my edges real quick. I'll torch this one off and let's take you in for a close up. All right, guys, thank you so much. Okay guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm excited about this. This mixed media girl pouring paints that she has. Um, I can't wait to try these out. Lee just did, it came out phenomenal. I am going to just jump right in and uh, let you know what colors I'm using first. Um, I'm using the Fairy Spit, which is right here. I'm using the Fairy Dreams. It's very fairy-esque. Uh, very fairy-esque. I'm using the royal purple. I am using the white. And I'm using the Caribbean teal. So I am going to be doing a ring pour, rec ring pour today on this little canvas. So I'm going to get my cup and get to layering. Do it. So in with the white first. In with the white first, mm. just a little bit. Remembering that what you put in first in a cup will be the thing that comes out last. I know, that's why I only put a little bit. I was telling the people at home. Oh. I don't need to edumacate you, sir. You don't. Well, not all the time. I like the consistency of these paints. Next, I'm going in with the royal purple. Do I want to do that or do I want to do the... I might switch this up a little bit. This. Now I'm going with the Fairy Dreams. Now I'm going to go in with the Royal Purple. Now I'm going to go in with the white again. You're doing a ring pour, right? Is it rect ring or is it just a ring? Rect ring, why? Ooh, I love it. Then back again with this Caribbean teal. Caribbean teal. Caribbean queen. Love that right. song. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so interested that you're layering those two pearl colors on top of each other. That would be like layering, you know, like Deco Art's Sapphire next to Deco Art Pewter. You so know, I'm really interested to see what happens. I'm a scandalous man. You are a scandalous man, but you know, we've not, tested, we've not tested these out, so we don't know whether one of them is gonna be super bossy or not. I know. So yeah, it's really, I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen. Me too. Because right now the cup is just looking all fairy. I think this. I think I have enough paint in here. No. 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 I don't. No. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. All right. You know, more is more. Is that motto? <laughs> I want you to have a little bit extra. Okay. Okay, guys. So I have my layered cup right here. I'm going to ring pour this and then wreck it and tilt it out. Let's see it. All right.
Whoop whoop. What a fantastic dismount there. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 too. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What are you seeing there, sir? Hmm. I am really interested to see how this is going to stretch out. See the colors that are going to come out from underneath. The whole thing, yes. So I'm hoping that that Caribbean uh, and that fairy spit don't take over. So we'll see. All right, it is time for the flow extender. Okay, everyone, I got my chopstick here. I'm going to wreck it. I love how you hold it like a wand. Come on, Harry. <laughs> Harry Potter. Yes, come on. Team Hufflepuff. Yeah, that was funny. It looked like it really pulled up that royal purple from I underneath. Know. I know. I like Interesting that. Interesting to see what's going to happen right yeah. now. Yeah. So, um, what time is it? It is tilt-in time. It is tilt-in time. I'm going to go for this one first. Wow, guys, this came out just incredible. I'm so happy with this. Wow, I'm so happy with that. That royal purple really popped up at the last minute. As soon as you wrecked yeah. it, it was like hiding underneath, yeah. and then it was like, I'm here. I know. And I'm, I'm royal. I, it did, and I'm loving, loving what happened with the the Caribbean teal. The Caribbean uh, teal. What is it? Yeah, Caribbean teal. Caribbean teal. I mean, look at this. Holy it just God. really just came through beautifully and the, the fairy spit that's in here and that fairy dreams. I mean, the white, honestly, between the layers really just, um, I, I couldn't be more happy with this, you guys. Wowzers. Yeah, so I'm going to torch it and get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. All right.
<laughs> so there you have it, folks. There you have it. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm super excited about this. I gotta say, when I first saw these colours, I was like in love with the colours, but the, oh my gosh, I thought yes. the paints might be a little too thin for what we do. How wrong was I? Yeah. Jeremy, tell me about your red ring. My red ring came out beautiful. I thought that the colours that I used that, uh, what was it, the fairy Fairy spit, spit and fairy dreams. <laughs> fairy dreams. Right. I really loved those. Um, I thought the colors were great. They were really rich, you know, like high bodied, uh, high, uh, pigmented. Pigmented, thank you. Right. The pigments were really, really nice and high in there. Um, I thought that the paints really worked well together. Uh, the, it was just, I thought it was just a great consistency. Right, I, I agree. We have not been paid to say this, by the way, <laughs> people. Yes, um, this is not an episode <laughs> sponsored by anyone. Um, I, like I said, when I started pouring the paint into my cup, I was a little worried that they're too thin because I really love thick, thick, thick paints like, like that look like it marshmallow. Um, but they were absolutely not too thin at all. They held their composition. Yeah. I did a really fun straight pour. Yeah. You did a really great ring pour. Thank you. The colors stayed true. They didn't mingle too much. Definitely highly pigmented, like yeah. you said. Yeah, I was genuinely very surprised at just how awesome these colors are. And no mixing. I'm not sitting there oh mixing flow troll and gloss medium together right. and, you know, spending half an hour before we poured to get these paints right. Yeah. We just popped a cap and poured it straight out of the tub. So I would highly recommend these paints. If you are a new beginner, new painter, fantastic. If you are an intermediate painter, they will work. And if yeah. you're an advanced painter too, please, please, please check these paints out because they are a really good quality paint. Absolutely. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. We will be using these again. Thank you to Mixed Media Girl for allowing us the chance to hijinx the yeah. channel. It was really a heck of a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. If you guys like and if you guys comment um, and um, you do that in your droves, we might be asked back again. Right? You never know. Hopefully. If you would like to see us here pour in, please drop Marcy Mixed Media Girl a comment and let her know. And um, you know, you never know, you might see us again. Right? Um, all right, guys, we're off. Um, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you'd like to come and see us pour, please come and see us over at Massey Art Studios. Yeah. Until then, have a great evening, guys. We'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.